Good morning, North Shore. Welcome back to day two of The One Thing. I'm excited about being with you this morning because we're going to talk about the seven areas of your life that actually affects your whole being, right? And so here you are. This is you. And we know that there are seven areas that are surrounding you, whether you're a stay-at-home mom or corporate CEO. And the very first one that we're going to talk about is your health. See, the big question is, is what is one thing that you should be doing today such by doing that everything else is easier or unnecessary so what can we do in our health to make sure that the rest of our day is easier or maybe we have unnecessary challenges right the very first thing that we know is getting some h2o many of us are dehydrated we just are if you're like me, you like to like drink a lot of coffee, you wake up and the very first thing you want to do is grab that coffee. Or maybe you're like me on some mornings, you're hovering over that cup, that cup of coffee to get going. And yet what we know is if you will get up and as your feet hit the floor, grab that bottle of water and chug it, your body will just be refreshed from hydrating it from the hours that you were not hydrating it. Very first step, drink some water. See, the second step is then exercise. Hmm, I know. Most of you start off your New Year's saying, I'm gonna do X, Y, Z. Maybe you even took the challenge of running a marathon this year. And here we are into the middle of January and some of us have already fallen off our exercise scales, right? And yet, here we can think of some small things that you can do every day right in your own home. You don't even need a gym membership. And that's as simple as doing some crunches. So check out our app challenge. We're gonna post that on our Facebook page as well. Or maybe it's running in place. Believe it or not, running in place, doing jumping jacks, gets the cardio going. And finally, just some good old fashioned push-ups. I know, they're tough. Yet start off, maybe your goal is to do two push-ups and then tomorrow do three. Set a little calendar and mark them off. And your goal, set a goal of how many you wanna do per day and work up towards that. Because we know when you are exercising, you're generating energy. It takes energy to make energy, right? Physics lesson. And then finally, what are you putting in your body? Um, most of you saw our segment on eating gluten-free. And yet, you don't have to go gluten-free. You can just make simple choices by incorporating vegetables, fruits into your diet every day. Most of us in America, we eat way too many carbs and meat and we leave out the good stuff that fuels our body. See, there's a lot of cancer research out there that shows antioxidants is needed in order to get all those bad cells and toxins out. And we know that some fruits and vegetables take care of the workforce. What would it look like if you ate a pound of vegetables every day? Wow, right? And it's not that hard to do. So share back with me today on Facebook some ways that you're gonna incorporate your water, some exercise and good food choices so that by doing that, everything else is easier or unnecessary in creating a whole you. Look forward to hearing your responses. Stay tuned for day three. We're gonna be tackling another area of your life tomorrow.